Oh boy. Oh boy. There has to be somebody in here, right? Surely. Oh boy. Okay, so we're up against Vayne this game, and uh, this should be interesting. I don't have... I don't have um, Ignite anymore. Ah, looks like I'm going to be missing a lot of XP. Yeah, okay, we got a kill and three assists, but that doesn't mean anything. We're still in a losing lane. She's going to hit level two well before us. We need to start autoing these minions. I want her to ward this bush. Man, I, I, I hate this lane. Getting early boots though will help, for sure. The wave's gonna be pretty big and I can't really do too much about that. I'm probably gonna miss his tank. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to. I wanna fight her whenever I'm level, uh, or sorry, whenever we have uh, Ignite up. If you're not too confident, then just go, um... Damn. That's no good. Nice. We got two, three boots. That's no good. And I'm missing a massive wave. Ah, dude. She's going to be so ahead. Very, very ahead. Because she has this whole wave to catch up on. I just wanted a little bit of XP there. I might as well kill this ward while I'm at it, because this wave's so pushed under. So I have 20 more movement speed than her. For one but I mean when she's running towards me, she's gonna have more movement speed just because of her passive, but still, at least when she's running away from me. It isn't gonna be too bad. So I don't have flash or ignite, so I definitely have to be chilling. Just gonna have to take the L on the CS. Stay with an XP range the whole time.
She's gonna wait 20 seconds, then we have Ignite, then we're gonna try to fight her. Okay, I mean, we got the vein. Can't push out the wave yet, though, because I have no team at, so. Which kind of sucks. I do want to get Stride Breaker this game, though. This vein's going to be very annoying. There's Lee Sin. Breaker is going to be alright, man, because we're all, we're obviously going to be able to slow down her movement speed and speed us up, and also at the same time, it's going to give us some decent tower taking potential because of the, um, uh, what's it called? The attack speed. And the attack speed on the tower is going to be good. It's nothing crazy, like 30% isn't anything huge, but I just want XP for this tank. This is the type of matchup where you just gotta kinda take the L in, in CS. Damn. Okay. We sent alt. He, he, I can't believe he actually still went top. That's what's nuts. If uh, I didn't get stunned there by the wall, I actually might have been able to go one for one because I had flash. Damn, dude. Nice. Yeah, so the, her tower is like full HP. I can't do anything about that whenever it's like this. Maybe get one plating though. Looks like she's gonna be getting Bork next. He's gonna be pushing into me now, so it's okay. I have alt ignite flash, I have everything. Waiting for our Q to come up. See you, dude. Okay, that's huge for us. That's huge for us. All right, massive. We can maybe get Stride Breaker too, actually. We should have enough. With this plating in the next, like this current wave that's here. Nice. 
no. Maybe now. I don't deal enough damage yet, though. Ah, so close. Yeah, okay, just gonna have to sacrifice that wave. It's fine. I'm sitting on Stride Breaker. It's a huge spike for us, especially versus Vayne. That's big. We needed that. So the whole point of this build is that she, like she can't really cut you. Like now that I have a uh, stride breaker and Swifties, it's a lot harder for her to kite. Get our uh, Iceborne here. Iceborne's gonna be massive, obviously, too, because it's slow. Three-man fear into the three-man charm thing, berserk, whatever it's called. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's a tilter for sure. We got Iceborne now after this wave. Iceborne now, um, gonna be huge. The slow is gonna be all right. Like it's not super strong right now. It's only 25%. So it's nothing crazy, but it's enough. Like a 25% slow is going to be enough on uh, Vayne. And also this is still a 30% slow. So, oh, 35% slow. So it's gonna be good. We can just alternate between slows. Take it. Got some good boom, movement speed right now. I want I wanted him to go in because he wouldn't kill me. I have my E. He wouldn't deal that much damage, especially with I uh, Iceborne armor. Veins in that bush. She's not in the bush.
Oi, 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 dude. <laughs> we'll take it, guys. That's when Stridebreaker feels real nice. An enemy has been slain. Almost have enough for our uh, thing, too. Blood mail. Okay, that buff got him. An ally has been slain. An ally has been slain. This build actually feels pretty strong, I won't lie. Them cost ninety mana. I missed the tank minion, that sucks. By our uh, blood mail, that's a big item for us right now, and then also we can go to drag. So now we're looking at 240 AD. This is gonna give us more AD whenever we're lower. The slow on this is now 28%, so that's good. this Shaco build. That's kind of crazy. An enemy has been slain. I guess the whole idea of it is that you just, you're just going to be tanky and then Kraken's just going to be doing enough. Damage on that tower. We can go Kraken next. Kraken's gonna be pretty good here. Maybe. Ah, that's boarded. Just wanna keep, go up here first. We can grab this tower for free, maybe? No. I mean, hey, we did like 300, like 300 some odd damage with just that one auto because we had the true damage on it too, right? So, yeah, let's try cracking, dude. Let's see how this goes. Let's go to the movement speed item first, though. Because this is going to make it so that we deal a lot of damage. We're going to have a, a lot of attack speed with uh, Stridebreaker and Kraken. And the slow, yeah, I, th I think it'll actually be pretty good, man. We'll see how this goes. We won't need our Swifty Boots anymore. Like a unit. But we 
also don't have a high burst shake though at the moment if you're unlucky. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy, that was a little close. Yeah, once you get Kraken, it's going to be really good. Our on hit damage is going to be pretty nice. Not like it's every third hit, but you know what I mean. Uh, let's just push bot because we have. Actually, no, let's push top because we have Baron spawning soon. We're actually just going to sell this and buy the. Oh no, we'll wait. Because the attack speed is going to be nice on the towers. Um, yeah, because we have soul spawning in a minute and a half, I'd rather apply pressure top. Bio soul. Earth is huge. Big shield. Where are you? I'll pressure top. Oh my god. Dear lord. Whoa. They wanted to kill me, dude. They really wanted me. <laughs> you guys wanted me. The Shaco build is just doing things. It's insane. But yeah, no, I mean, like I said, it makes sense because he's going to be dealing a lot of damage from this, from this. He's just going to be tanky. And he's just going to be very, very annoying to kill for the enemy team. That's unlucky. here before I flash. Very good. And give me all the assists, dude. This is where I wish I had my uh, Kraken because then I'd be melting this thing. Nice. Alright, let's do it. Actually, I'm just gonna buy this. It's fine. It's a. Like four of them are dead. So. I don't know what it's gonna go into, but we're gonna buy one of these things. A glowing moat. Right now, Kraken's doing 260. Pretty good. Pretty good. funny man years ago this was like years and years and years ago probably season four season five i used to always do a tank shaco build like war mogs and it was just pretty crazy actually the 
with the weight because there is no pressure yet. I just get like melted by the vein, dude. Like the damage they do is insane. I die instantly. Cause he does like true damage on his crits. Could have had the Baron minions on the tower as well. But it's okay. We prevailed. What is going on, dude? <laughs> wow. Did you upload? Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Peace out.